Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to set up Wise account to send and receive money. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So first thing that we want to do here is just basically visit the Wise website here. That's going to be wise.com. Now in this case, how do you actually set up your Wise account? So it's actually pretty simple. You could either click on the register button at the top right of your screen here or click on the open an account button here at the very center of the top of this website. So go ahead and click off either those buttons there. Now in this case, it's going to ask you a few things. So in here, it's going to say create your WISE account. So first, enter email address. So you have two options here. You could either proceed on entering your email address here manually, or you could use or create an account via the options here, which is via Google, via Facebook, or via Apple. Now, in this case, we want to do this manually for now. So go ahead and enter your email address here and just click on next. And from here, it's going to ask you what kind of account would you like to open today? So you have two options here. You have the option to create a personal account so that send, spend, and receive around the world for less. Or you have the business account here. So for this for doing business or freelance work internationally. Now, if you want to start creating your personal account, go ahead and choose personal account here. And you want to choose the country where you live most of the time. So the goal for WISE here is if you're traveling frequently, but uh, WISE you get a great tool that you could use, but it's still going to ask you where do you live most of the time. In this case, choose the country and just click on continue. And from here, it's going to ask you to enter a two-factor uh, two authentication. So in this case, it's going to ask you for your phone number. So go ahead and enter your phone number. But if you're asking, what is this actually for? So 2FA. So it stands for two-factor authentication. It's going to make your account a mu much more secure since you're actually securing your accounts. So every time you try logging in and in your WISE account, it's going to send a specific code wherein you will be the only one receiving that since you're entering your phone number here and you will be using that code to basically log in into your account. But yeah, so once you've entered your phone number, you have to create your password. And once you've created your password, you'll be able to basically start using WISE. So let's go ahead and go to our WISE account since I already created mine. And we are now inside our WISE account. So this is a personal account. So what's the first thing that you should be doing here in your WISE account? So first thing you want to do here is to ver first verify your account. So at the top right of your screen, you should be able to see your profile or your name there. And from here, you want to go to settings. And under settings, there's the things that you could change here. But what we need here to do is go to connected accounts. And we want to search for the bank account section. So in this case, go ahead and click on connect your bank account. And from here, choose the country where your bank is currently located. So right now, it supports the United States, United Kingdom, as well as Canada. So go ahead and choose your country. And from here, you'll be given two options. You have instant verification and manual verification. So in this case, if, you, if you're if you ready to be available to log in into your account, choose instant verification since this is the fastest one here. And from here, you just need to proceed on basically connecting your bank account. So once you've created your bank account, you'll be also be verified on your WISE account here, which is really cool. Now, once you've done that, the next thing you want to do here is start adding your recipients at the left section here. You should be able to see a link for recipients. Now from here, just click on add recipient. And in this case, you have three options. You have myself, someone else, as well as business charity. So if you choose myself here, you'll be able to choose the currency. You need to enter your banking details as well. But yeah, so from here, you just need to enter details, add your recipients. And once you've done that, you'll be able to send money at the top left of your screen. So just click on send money. And from here, just follow the steps and you'll be able to basically start using your voice and that's about it so thank you for watching if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comment section if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful you could use the link in the description to subscribe see you in the next video